Hi, this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today we're going to take a look at how to create a simple animation with HTML Canvas. Uh, more specifically, I should say HTML5 Canvas. Canvas is a new element introduced with HTML5 that allows you to use JavaScript to draw uh, on your HTML page within that Canvas element. I'm going to start out here. I've got Visual Studio 2012 Express for Web, and I'm going to create a new project, and we'll make it a an ASP.NET empty web application. I'll call it Canvas Example. Click OK, and Visual Studio is going to create a new project for me. Once I've done that, I want to go ahead and add. Uh, an HTML page. I'm going to call it index.html. I am going to also add a CSS style sheet. We'll call it site.css. Next, I want to add a scripts folder. So add a new folder and we will call it scripts. and I'm going to add a new JavaScript file. We'll call it index.js. And then finally, I'm going to right click on my project, go to manage new get packages. I'm going to add jQuery. I want to make sure you're on the online option here. And I've got all selected. You'll see by default jQuery comes up. If for some reason you don't see that come up, Make sure you're under online, click on all, and then type jQuery in the search box here. I'm going to go ahead and select jQuery and click install. That's going to install jQuery in this project. And now I can go ahead and modify my HTML. I'll give my page a title, canvas example. And I want to add some references here. We want to reference jQuery. And then we want to reference the index.js. jQuery should go first. Because index.js is also going to reference. Uh, it's going to make use of jQuery, I should say. And then finally, we want to add a reference to site.css. Go ahead and save that. Let's see, the next thing I want to do for this page is to go ahead and I'll just add a paragraph so I've got some text on there. This is a test of the canvas tag. Alright, and then after that I will go ahead and add a canvas tag. This is a new tag added with HTML5 we will want to give it an ID so that we can reference that ID from JavaScript and I'm going to go ahead and set a width and height on this thing width of 300 and a height of 100 alright once I've done that uh, the next thing I want to do I actually want to set up a style for my canvas I just want to put a border around it. So what I'm going to do is use a CSS selector that points to the ID of my canvas. And we'll set up our border style. It's going to be one pixel all the way around. It's going to be solid and the color will be black. And that is all there is to that. Now we're going to look at our custom JavaScript here. The first thing we want to do is to add a reference to jQuery. And this kind of reference is only allowing for autocomplete for jQuery statements within this index.js file. After that, I'm going to declare a global variable that's going to store my context my canvas context and I'm going to set up a 
function to execute when my page loads here using document.ready, which is a it's a common practice for jQuery. I'm going to pass it an anonymous function. And I will set up canvas variable here. I'm going to retrieve my canvas by using document .get element by ID my canvas and we'll retrieve the context the canvas context. Context is the object that you actually use to do the drawing so we're going to say canvas dot get context and then we pass a parameter to say what type of context. The only valid context at this point is 2D. So I'm going to get a 2D context. And then I am going to add a call to a method that I have that draws a small rectangle. Actually, <laughs> it's going to be a square. Draw a little square. Actually, I'm just going to call it draw square and I'm going to pass it three parameters the top the left position of the square the top position of the square and a shade um, actually it's going to be the uh, value of the green portion of the color now I'm going to define my draw square function like I said, it's going to take left, top, and shade as parameters. First thing we're going to do is set the fill style for our context. And this um, indicates what we're going to fill our square with. And what you can do is um, you can provide a typical CSS color value, such as, let's see here, I'm going to count my zeros. I'm going to back off here a minute. Usually those would be six numbers. So it'd be two numbers for red, two for green, and two for blue. So six numbers. That's black, all zeros. In this case, we're actually going to concatenate a string together uh, using this shade value so that the shade is going to vary. Um, what we're going to do actually, I should step back a minute probably, um, we're going to go ahead and do a simple animation where a line is drawn um, and each new line that's drawn will be a different shade until we completely fill up our whole canvas with lines. We're going to keep incrementing this shade so that it gets a little bit lighter. So what I'm doing right here, I'm coming up with my green value based on the shade that was passed in and I'm doing some zero padding so that there's always a zero at the beginning if there needs to be. And then at the end of my string I'm putting double zeros for my blue value. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to actually draw the square on the screen and that uses the fill style that I just provided before it. And then the parameters for that are the left coordinate, the top coordinate, and then the width and the height of the rectangle, which I'm always going to make 10 here. It's a 10 by 10 square. Then after I have drawn my square, I'm going to go ahead and increment my left value by 10. And if I've reached the right hand side of my canvas, I want to reset my parameters here. So my variables. So I'm going to reset left to zero. I'm going to increase the top value so that I go down to the next line. 
and I'm going to increase my shade value so that the next line is a little bit lighter shade of green. And the next thing I'm going to do is, assuming that I haven't completely filled up the canvas, which is what I'm checking here, I want to go ahead and call this same function again after one-tenth of a second. So I call my function. I provide a value of 100 milliseconds, which is one-tenth of a second. And then I'm going to pass in my parameters to the function. And I should be all set to go. I'm actually building the project now. I'm going to um, go ahead and switch to Chrome because that's what I did my testing with. So I'll click on Chrome here to run my page. And it's going to load up using a local web server. And as you can see here, I've got my animation going where I'm actually drawing each line. I'm actually doing a bunch of little squares I'm drawing to the screen, but the way that I do it, it looks like a an animation of drawing a line. And then as you can see, each line uh, is a little bit lighter shade of green and that will continue until the canvas is completely full and now it's all done so that is a very simple example of how you can do an animation using the HTML5 canvas tag and that's only uh, you know the tip of the iceberg as far as canvas goes there's so many things you can do with that you can even um, I'm sure there are many complex games that are written using Canvas out there, so, uh, you know, look for plenty of inspiration in those types of places as well.